There are two sides to this great nation. One that is progressing extensively day by day and the other where the basis of survival is day to day. For far too long, these marginalized Indians have been excluded from the chapters of hope and prosperity. Struggling to find their place in the sun or even on the periphery of the banking system. Financial inclusion in India is a movement to unlock opportunities and improve the life of marginalized Indians. The fourth largest economy of the world and a nation with 65% of citizens below the age of 35 years cannot undermine the importance of financial inclusion if it has to harness the power of the youth. Since independence, one organization has been striving extensively to include every section of society into the growth process. And it has fostered landmark revolutions in banking and financial systems of India. Reserve Bank of India, empowering the banking system since the last 80 years. Reserve Bank of India, established in 1935 and nationalized in 1949, plays an important role of managing, regulating and supervising India's monetary system and has successfully managed to maintain the confidence of people in the banking and financial system. Since its inception, RBI has taken multiple steps to enable more and more people access banking services. From 8,000 branches in 1969 to a wide network of more than 80,000 branches till date is a fairly commendable achievement. Still, there was a large section of rural and economically weaker population who were yet untouched. Recognizing this area of concern, Reserve Bank of India had embarked on a mission of inclusive growth through financial inclusion in the year 2005. The Reserve Bank of India initiated several measures to achieve greater financial inclusion, such as facilitating basic banking, no frills accounts, general credit cards and Kisan credit cards among others for small deposits and credit. It relaxed and simplified KYC norms to facilitate easy opening of bank accounts with Aadhaar card as single eligibility document. Furthermore, it encouraged banks to engage business correspondents as intermediaries for providing financial and banking services in remote areas. All banks were inspired to adopt electronic benefit transfer for transferring social and government benefits electronically to the bank account of the beneficiary. It also simplified branch authorization policy, thereby allowing domestic, scheduled and commercial banks to open branches across Tier 2 to Tier 6 centers, especially those with population of less than 1 lakh without any permission from RBI. Under the Swabiman campaign, it helped provide banking facilities in locations where population ranged from 2,000 to 20,000. This benefited northeastern states and Sikkim, among others. The mandatory instructions for banks to open 25% of their total number of branches in unbanked villages helped financial inclusion to a great extent. To boost financial inclusion, RBI created a mechanism like the Financial Stability and Development Council to oversee financial inclusion and financial literacy programs. Presently, RBI has more than 900 financial literacy centers across India to educate, train and counsel people in rural areas regarding the benefits of opening a bank account. RBI also constituted the Financial Inclusion Advisory Committee to gauge the performance of banks and continuously monitor the success of various initiatives. The mission of financial inclusion got an impetus with the advancement of banking technologies. Whether it is online banking, IMPS, NEFT, RTGS, electronic benefits transfer, ATMs or mobile banking, technology has played a crucial role in the success of RBI's endeavors. Today, over 3,84,000 new banking outlets across India cater to 6 lakhs plus villages. 
around 942 financial literacy centers and over 248,000 business correspondents are creating awareness and have opened 243 million zero balance accounts with free ATM and debit cards. Sukhasya Moolam Dharma Dharmasya Moolam Artha Artha Sya Moolam Rajya The greatest milestone, however, in the financial inclusion quest came from our incumbent Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi on 15th August 2014 when he promoted the idea to end financial untouchability by introducing Banking for All. Pradhan Mantri Jan Dhan Yujna provides universal access to banking facilities providing basic banking accounts with overdraft facility and rupee debit card to all households. Financial literacy programs, creation of credit guarantee fund, micro insurance and unorganized sector pension schemes. On the very first day of the launch of this scheme, 1.5 crore bank accounts were opened. It was the day of financial freedom. As of now, over 12 crore accounts have opened with a deposit of around 10,000 crore rupees. जिससे अपना और अपने परिवार का भविष्य सुरक्षित हो गया। ये दिन भर साइकिल और ट्रेन से सफर करते हैं। मैंने इनका बैंक खाता खुलवाया और इनको मिली एक लाख रुपए की एक्सीडेंटल इंश्योरेंस मुफ्त। बच्चों के भविष्य की चिंता मेरी तरह कमला को भी थी। मैंने उसका बैंक में खाता खुलवाया, बचत का सही रास्ता बताया। While the PM commenced a revolutionary mission, enabling people to open new accounts, active use of these accounts will need to be better understood and addressed through synergistic policies of government and RBI. To address this concern, specific measures are needed to drive bank account use among the poor. This could be achieved through direct deposit of social welfare payments into beneficiaries' bank accounts, increasing access to banking infrastructure through physical branches, especially in rural areas, fostering branchless banking through use of digital technologies such as micro ATMs and kiosks, mobile phones and instant payment systems, universal electronic bank account for all and universal access to a range of insurance products. Specialized payment banks that will be extremely low cost in their operations with a minimum branch presence. Small finance banks driven by new technology wherein at least half the advances will have to constitute loans and advances of up to 25 lakh rupees. Today, Reserve Bank of India is all set to provide at least one bank account for every home. Come, let all of us pledge to eliminate financial untouchability and to make India the most prosperous and progressive nation in the world. सपनों के रंग हजारों सपनों पर हक है सबका अब पीछे ना रह जाए कोई समाज कोई तबका खुशहाली और तरक्की को मुट्ठी में बंद करना है सबकी आर्थिक प्रगति का नारा बुलंद करना है मेहनत की एक एक पाई को बरकत मिल जाए कमाई को हर बूंद में एक सागर बसता है बचत सुरक्षा का रास्ता निश्चिंत भविष्य बनाए कल का आधार आज हो सम्मान मिले जीवन को खुद पर अपना ही राज हो धन्य 